I love bubbles. I've always loved making bubbles. Do you know that bubbles are just air trapped inside of a liquid? In the case of, of, of these bubbles and this bubble maker, the liquid is soap and water. I learned how to make bubbles like this when I was a little kid. I would ask my mom for all of the empty thread spools and I would get some soap and water and I would make bubbles. Funny I should say kid because the story that I want to share with you today is called The Bubble Mystery. And in this story, there is a little goat right here and her name is Toot Toot. Little goats are called kids. And this is the story of The Bubble Mystery by Marari Ja. Little Toot Toot was really, really excited one morning when she was going with her ma and her ba down to the pond for her first bath time. But when she got to the water, she was kind of scared. But then she saw all of the other kids playing in the water and she decided to jump right in. Soon she noticed that there were bubbles in the water and she loved the bubbles in the water. She loved playing with the bubbles in the water and bath time became her favorite, favorite thing. But she wondered, how do bubbles form? Where did those bubbles come from? How are bubbles made? So she went to her ba, her papa, and she said, Ba, how are the bubbles made? Where do the bubbles in the water come from? And her ba said, I don't know. So then she went to her ma and she said, Ma, how are bubbles made? Where do the bubbles come from? And her ma said, I don't know. Tutu decided that this was a mystery and she was going to solve that mystery. So the next day she went down to the pond and she splashed in the water. No bubbles. She blew in the water. No bubbles. Where do the bubbles come from? How are bubbles made? Well, one day, little Toot Toot had eaten way, way too much dry grass. And so she had a tummy ache. Her tummy was really, really hurting. And she decided, you know what? I'm going to go down to the pond and I'm going to lie in the cool water and maybe I will feel better. So she went down to the pond and she lay down in the cool, cool water. And as she lay in the cool, cool water, her aching stomach started to feel a little bit better. And then all of a sudden, air came out of toot toot and blah, 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 blah. Bubbles came up to the top of the water. <gasps> Thought toot toot, I've solved the mystery. Now I know where the bubbles come from. Now I know how bubbles are made. So bath time became toot toot's favorite time of all. And Toot Toot became really popular because she made more bubbles and bigger bubbles than anyone. And when the time came for Toot Toot's little sister to have her first bath time, she went down to the pond with her Baba and her Ma and her big sister Toot Toot and she played in the water and she loved those bubbles. And when she got out of that water, she said to her sister Toot Toot, Toot Toot, where do the bubbles come from? How are bubbles made? And Toot Toot said, I don't know. The end. Where do you think those bubbles came from? My friend, Miss Marie, has lots of ideas about making bubbles. Miss Marie, could you show us some of the ways you can make bubbles? Thank you, Miss Kaz. Hi, boys and girls. Did you enjoy the story of the bubble mystery? Did you figure out the mystery? Well, we're gonna find out another way to make bubbles, okay? We have a formula that you make, we call it bubble juice. That's the number one thing you need to make good bubbles. What you need is, you need just plain dishwater liquid. You can add any brand, it doesn't matter. Water and a little sugar. Now, I know you wonder, why is, she, why is she putting sugar inside of the bubble juice? Well, the sugar kind of gives it more of a sticky feel so it holds on to things. And I like my grandmother say, you put a little sugar in anything, it makes everything better. So what you're gonna do is, we're gonna pour a little water in here. And we're gonna put a little dishwater liquid. Put it in there. And you sprinkle just a little sugar in it. And 
you don't want to just go in and mix it like you're mixing cake. You just want to turn it because if you over mix it, the bubbles usually don't form like you want them to. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we're going to create bubbles with things you find around the house. The first thing I did was, I want to show you, these are just water bottles. What I did was, I'm going to show you three different ways. One of them is a water bottle. Just take the top off, you put it in like this, take it, and you just put it like that. And there you are, bubbles. This is from a plain water bottle. You can use that little brother or sister to do that. The next one, this is a cool one, I like this one. What you're gonna do is just a water bottle, take the top off, poke a little hole in the bottom. You do it the same way. Did you see that? Wasn't that great? All right, here's another way. This is just a bottle. We took the top off. Get your mom or dad to do that for you because you have to take the scissors and just cut the bottom off of it. And you take it like this. straw and two pieces of pipe cleaner just make a circle just take it wind it just wind them up like this just to make a big circle and you take the other end here and you twist it like that and then you just take it Put it inside of here, stuff it down in there, and then you just spread it out till you get a circle. Or you can make any shape out of it, it's just up to you. And all you want to do is Where are those bubbles coming from? 